Did you know that pop-up campers have bathrooms in them? Well, some do and some don't, but today we're going to review five pop-up campers with bathrooms. Hey guys, Mike with RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're going to be discussing pop-up campers with bathrooms. If this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of YouTube videos all about RVing. And we also have a website called RVBlogger.com where we literally have hundreds and hundreds of blog articles all about RVing as well. Today we're going to be talking about pop-up campers with bathrooms. Now Susan used to own a pop-up camper and I sort of owned a pop-up camper and the things that Susan and I liked about our pop-up campers were they were light, they were easy to tow, you could tow them with almost any kind of vehicle and we also enjoyed the fact that it felt like you were camping in a tent even though you were on each side of your pop-up camper so you're up off the ground but you have the feeling of being outside and enjoying the fresh air and all of that good stuff. Now when we owned pop-up campers back in the day they only had a cassette toilet in them. Uh, nowadays though they have what's called a wet bath so you would have a toilet and a shower kind of built into one room and it's very very convenient especially if you're camping somewhere where you're, maybe you're not in a state park where there is a shower house or a bath house around so it just gives you more versatility to be able to go different places and go camping. So um, without any further ado, let's jump into our five pop-up campers with bathrooms. This particular pop-up camper is called a high wall pop-up camper or an A-frame pop-up camper. This is a Rockwood Premier. It's the model number 214 and it weighs about 2,700 pounds and it is 14 feet long. So it's very light and easy to tow and it comes with a lot of really nice features. On this side of the pop-up camper, we have the kitchen area, which includes a pretty nice sink, also includes a two-burner stove, and then it's got a refrigerator underneath and a little bit of storage space as well. Behind me on this side of the RV, or the pop-up camper, we have a bathroom. And this particular bathroom is a wet bath, but it's not a bad size. You can see you have your shower head here, Toilets built right in, decent amount of elbow space. You can turn on your hot and cold water down here. And ordinarily when you're in a shower like this, there's a curtain that goes all the way around this track up here and that keeps all the water contained within your wet shower or wet bath, whichever you want to call it. So on this side of the high wall or pop-up camper or A-frame camper, we have our dinette area where you could seat four people pretty comfortably. This also converts into another sleeping space for one. And then over here is where your microwave oven is. Not really near the rest of the kitchen, but at least you have one in here. And then you have a nice queen size bed for your sleeping area in here. So all in all, they make a lot of use out of a small space and it's really nice that you do get a pop-up camper that has a bathroom in it as well with a shower. So uh, pretty compact, lightweight, easy to tow, and pretty neat as far as an A-frame pop-up camper goes. So this pop-up camper with a bathroom is the Coachman Clipper Sport and it weighs about 2,400 pounds. It's about 18 feet 9 inches long, but it's a fantastic pop-up camper that features a full bathroom with a shower. Now the way that works is this little area pops up here. You can see that you've got a built-in commode. You would stand in here and ordinarily there would be a curtain that would go all the way around me here and then here's your hot and cold water for your shower and you would just have a handheld type shower situation. But this is a perfect little spot to have a bathroom in a pop-up camper. Now also in here the kitchen area has a two burner stove, kitchen sink, refrigerator underneath, and then on this end of the camper it's got a really nice size bed, queen size bed. The thing that I love about spending the night in a pop-up camper is that you get the feel of being in a tent but you're not in a tent. You have a nice comfy mattress, You've got three sides of screen all around you that you can open up 
you can look at the campfire from inside the pop-up while you're sleeping, enjoy the crickets, just a great feel while you're camping. Susan and I are going to switch spots and we'll show you the other half of this pop-up camper. So on this side of the pop-up camper, you've got a really nice sized couch to hang out and lounge. And then of course you have a four person dinette. Now the dinette converts into a bed and the sofa jackknifes out also. So this whole area becomes one big giant bed. And then of course you have another queen size bed up top on this end of the pop-out. So, so you could easily sleep six people in this pop-up camper with a bathroom. We love the Coachman Clipper series. Hey guys, when you get to the end of the video, please give us a thumbs up. It lets us know how we're doing. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified every week when we release a brand new YouTube video. And if you have any comments that you'd like to leave, please feel free to leave them down below. We try to answer every single one and get back to you. So we're inside of a Rockwood ESP pop-up camper, and this is the 2020 version of their off-road pop-up awesome camper it's got a lot of space and it also has a bathroom now this is a little different design for a bathroom this one has a little lid that lifts up commode and then your shower controls are down low and then let me show you how this works you have to get inside your shower grab your shower curtain and close her up and then you can take a shower inside your wet bath. Not a bad setup, and it's always great to have a shower. So to get a full view of this pop-up camper, we're gonna walk in the front door, and as you can see, the bathroom is just to the right that we just looked at with the shower bath. We have the queen-size bed, then we have the kitchen area with the two burner stove and a refrigerator and a sink. The dinette folds down and becomes a bed, as does the sofa on the left, which jackknifes into a bed as well. And then in the back on the other end, there's another queen sized pop out. Really great size camper with a full bath. This pop up camper toy hauler is an A liner Somerset E3. And it is a really big pop up camper with a slide out. And it also has a toy hauler as well. This particular one, uh, the railings come off and they form the ramps so that you can ride an ATV or a motorcycle right up onto the toy hauler portion of your pop-up camper. Let's take a look inside and see how it looks. So inside this pop-up camper on one end is a queen-sized bed and then we go to the dinette area which is also slides out and becomes a bed also. It's kind of the third pop-up area. Kitchen area has a two burner stove, sink, and a fridge down below queen size bed on the end and then here is a wet bath area as well okay so this pop-up camper with a bathroom is an a-liner LXE model it weighs about uh, 1900 pounds and it's about 15 feet long the bathroom area is up here towards the front and the way this works is this piece folds up there's a little hook here that it just velcros to and then you would hop on into the shower area. Ordinarily, there would be a curtain here that clips on to all these little clips. So that would go around you to keep all the water contained in the shower area. You can see you've got your commode and then you've got your shower controls and handle down here. And so you've got a full wet bath inside a very small pop-up camper. Let's take a rest. Let's take a look at the rest of the pop-up camper now. So the kitchen uh, area of this A-Liner LXE is right here and as you can see it's got a little sink with a pop-up faucet it's got a two burner stove that it comes with it's also got a microwave underneath which is really fantastic and then it's got a little refrigerator with a built-in freezer area as well on this side of the pop-up camper this nice comfy couch pulls all the way out and this whole area becomes a really nice sized bed there's also a table that crosses here so this all can become mattress as well. So really from here on back, it comes a really, really good size bed. So that's it for the A-Liner LXE. Hey guys, if you're interested in purchasing a pop-up camper, we highly recommend that you rent one before you buy one. Do the old rent before you buy or try before you buy tactic. We did that before we bought our RV and it helped us to learn 
everything we liked and didn't like about the RV so that when we were ready to buy, we made the best decision that we possibly could. And we recommend Outdoorsy for renting your RVs or pop-up campers. They have a ton of pop-up campers all across the United States that you can rent. So uh, we'll leave a link in the show notes down below. There's also a $50 discount coupon that we have for our subscribers who uh, will rent an RV from Outdoorsy. So we'll leave all that in the show notes down below. So be sure to check it out. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to see some more of our videos, just click here to check them out. And so for Mike and Susan, we'll see you next time.